Good evening. Welcome to the class, chicos. Solo denme un momentito y le voy a compartir la presentación. Permitan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ivan. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Okay. Eh, chuc, chuc, chuc. Creo que nos quedamos ayer acá. Welcome. Eh, thank you very much for joining today. I'm going to open up here the attendance, right? So I can't, I can't know who is in class today. No olvidemos eh, estar trabajando, chicos, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Recuerden que necesito, porfa, porfa, que terminemos la sección 4, que es la que ya vamos a completar el día de mañana, y no olvidemos también completar parte de la sección 5. Creo que les habían pedido el 50%, pero si usted puede hacerla toda, mejor. Eh, hoy es miércoles, perdón. Así de que no importa si tienen preguntas de esa sección 5, aunque no la hayamos visto, con gusto se las contesto, ¿ok? You can, you can ask me questions, pero lo importante es que la vayamos completando. Si hay preguntas de la sección 4, pues con gusto yo se los voy a, les voy a aclarar sus dudas, ¿ok? Eh, Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Eh, Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Claudia Lisette. Damaris Saraí García Cerón. Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present teacher. Gracias, Eliu. Eh, Elsie Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Flor Noemí Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Eh, Gabriel José Hernández López. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Ponilla. Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Ibrahim, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Presente, Chef. Gracias. Eh, Julio César Campos Yara. Presente, Chef. Gracias. Eh, Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Mar... Gracias, Carla Alicia. Carla Elena López Rivas. Carla Elena López Rivas. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present. Gracias. María Dolores García de López. Present, teacher. Gracias. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Gracias. Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Gracias. Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Dice Gisela, I'm here. Dice. <ríe> Vaya Gisela, ya le puse ahí la asistencia. Eh, ¿Alguien más que me haga falta? Que haya entrado eh, en este momento. Damaris, Damaris García. Damaris García. ¿Quién dijo? Yo. <ríe> Rebeca Rosales. Ah, vaya, Rebeca, ahorita, permítame. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Rebeca, ahí está Rebeca. Vaya, Rebeca, perfecto. Ok, Elsie, dígame, Elsie. Acaba de entrar también. <laughs> vaya, perfecto. Ok, so let's begin, guys, and thank you very much for joining today. Eh, we, are, we are going to continue. Oh, dígame, Carla Alicia. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, for this week, uh, we have to complete until 55 lessons or uh, what lessons? Uh -huh. Esta semana, este Carla, como es la tercera semana, tenemos que completar la sección 4, ¿verdad? Pero como por el proceso de inscripción, les piden hasta la sección 5, la mitad. Ajá, que deben de tener completada la sección 5 a la mitad por el proceso de inscripción, ¿verdad? Como les, repet, les, repet, les comentaba, mejor dicho. Eh, cuando, es, cuando hay proceso de inscripción, ese se tiene que eh, saber más o menos cuál va a ser su promedio final 
para reservarles la matrícula para el siguiente módulo. Entonces, para hacer eso, eh, necesitan este, que terminen hasta la mitad de la sección 5 en la semana 3. Ya la otra semana pues va a ser súper más fácil porque ya solo va a tener la mitad de la sección 5 y las clases conmigo de, durante la semana. Ajá. No sé si contesta su pregunta, Carla. Sí. Bye. Bueno, ya sabe. Vaya, chicos. Eh, creo que nos quedamos ayer acá. How have things changed? Choose two of these topics or topics of your own, then choose a period of time and discuss the questions below. Okay? So here we have some topics. Okay? We have clothing, education, entertainment, housing, medicine, sports, technology, and work okay so we have all these topics right now what happens with this well pretty much uh, what we're going to do is to express your opinion on how these you know topics have changed muchas cosas han cambiado and these topics i think are very interesting and let's begin with the first one la idea era mandarlos a los breakout rooms pero me pasa a veces pues que no entran todos y ahí me dejan solitos a los demás verdad y, y, y los pobres pues no hayan con quien platicar así que vamos a hacerlo ahorita solo nada más pedirles que levanten la mano si quieren participar para que no eh, en inglés decimos you don't talk over other people para no hablar sobre la otra persona verdad o sea en el sentido de que hablan al mismo tiempo pues y no se les entiende Bye. Entonces, comencemos con clothing, guys. How have clothing changed with time? What do you think? I mean, I think it has changed a lot. Creo que ha cambiado muchísimo. Y algunas cosas han regresado, como los pantalones rectos, ¿verdad? Ya de los noventas, but what do you think? How has, I mean, how has, no, how has, I'm sorry, clothing changed? ¿Cómo ha cambiado la ropa? I would like to listen to your opinions. Tenemos acá tres guías. What was it like 50 years ago? What is it like today? And what will it be like in the future? What do you think? Uh -huh, chicos. Vaya, let's do something. I want you to write down. Quisiera que escribiera. Voy a darles cuatro o cinco minutitos. Ok. I want you to write down. Quiero que escriba sus oraciones o que escriba eh, ideas sobre cómo usted cree que ha cambiado, que han cambiado este, estos, estos temas, ¿verdad? Y en ese momento solo me voy a levantar porque tengo una lámpara llena, llena de insectos aquí enfrente. Así que como ha llovido, ¿verdad? Entonces, mientras ustedes hacen eso, solo voy a nada más a limpiar aquí porque están haciendo mucho ruido. Entonces, let's go ahead and write down, o como decimos en inglés, jot down, ¿verdad? Jot down some ideas about the changes in these different topics. Okay, so you have five minutes and your five minutes begins right now.
Ok, guys, I had to turn it off. Me tocó apagarla. So now they are on the ceiling. Ahora están en el techo. <laughs> Vaya, veamos acá. Dice Clothing. Dígame, Rebeca. Okay, teacher. Um, I think that today the cloth the clothing mm -hmm. are a set of different trends. Mm -hmm. A lot of vintage things are behind yeah. user. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you're totally right. Actually, uh, when when it comes to clothes, right, uh, it's very important to remember also that. It's not only that they have changed, but 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 also the fact that there are certain factors that, in a way, uh, help you know or or contribute right to these changes. Music, TV shows, um, famous people, etc. Right. So uh, that is true. I have some opinions here in the chat. Elu says clothes were more formal in the office now. Almost ed everyone dresses casual. It's true. Es cierto. Eh, no sé, pero yo recuerdo, uh, I didn't know about casual day. Por ejemplo, I was working at a bank. Solía trabajar en un banco. Uh, hace mucho tiempo. Eh, and I remember uh, there, was the, the, there was this casual day. Había un día de jeans o de llegar casual o con la camisa del lugar, ¿verdad? Entonces, it was, it was cool. But nowadays... Uh, almost every day people, you know, uh, like uh, to dress casual, right? Luego dice Xiomara, clothing was very decent. Nowadays dresses are shorter and tight for girls. Uh, and tie for girls. Uh, in the future, it will look like more extravagant. Sí, la verdad es que sí, Xiomara. It is true. Eh, it, and it is changing, ¿verdad? Va siempre aumentando un poquito más. Dice Flor, in the past, ladies used to wear formal dresses. Nowadays, few girls uh, like to wear, porque acordemos que usamos wear, wear dress, um, dresses. They prefer other type of clothes. Dice, es cierto. In the past, eh, me acuerdo yo incluso, my mom, my mom would buy fabric, los famosos cortes que le llamaban, ¿verdad? fabric and she would uh, um, you know send it to the seamstress to have dresses made but nowadays people they prefer not to wear dresses or to wear something else Francisco dice there is more diversity of clothing today however it is said that fashion repeats itself from time to time it is true because nowadays I've seen, for example, jeans and some pants that uh, were, you know, the trend back in the 90s, for example, right? So uh, that was uh, kind of interesting to see. Era como, what? Estos pantalones se supone que ya no, ¿verdad? Son parte de mis experiencias pasadas que fueron embarrassing y ahora están de regreso. Entonces, uh, it was... Um, Sí, porque yo recuerdo cuando eh, teníamos esos como baggy jeans. Los baggy jeans son los flojos, ¿verdad? Y luego uno ve las fotos y dice, ¿y qué, y qué estaba pensando? Porque me gustaban. Y ahora lo veo uno de regreso. ¿verdad? Entonces, como que, qué confusión. Now, let's see. What about eh, education, guys? ¿Qué, qué, 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 ¿Qué piensan ustedes? What do you think about education? Education. Dice Carla Alicia, dice, 50 years ago, it was not essential to have a computer for children. Today, children are learning to use cell phones eh, through, ¿verdad? Through cell phones, tablets, and computers. That is true. Eso es muy cierto, ¿verdad? Education has changed a lot. Dice Iván, in the past, we used platform shoes. Uh -huh. Sí, pero eso era en, en, uh, en clothing, ¿verdad? Es cierto. Uh, and yes, Carla, Alicia, you're totally right. I mean, um, computers have become a tool in education, right? Not only for 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 students, but also for teachers. We need to we need that tool, verdad? Es como nuestro instrumento de trabajo because we need to prepare our planning. We need to prepare classes. We need to 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 prepare exams. We need to prepare homework assignments. We need to check homework through the uh, through the computer, etc. Right? So it is true. Es cierto. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué más, chicos? What do you think about clothing? This education was lower, no more dynamic 
in classroom, yes. It was totally different. Era completamente diferente. Um, and also, a lot of teachers were focused on teaching values, ¿verdad? Había bastante enfoque en valores. Eh, no todos, pues yo al menos eso es lo que yo percibí en, en mi experiencia, porque yo siempre estudié en escuela pública, institución, eh, bachillerato, institución pública, la universidad pública, ¿verdad? Etcétera. So that was my, 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 my perception, fue mi percepción. And also, eh, nowadays also remember that education is like a business, right? So they need to, to take care of their customers. And if you, the, the more you offer, pero entre más ofrece usted en su, en su, en su colegio, sistema educativo, entonces más va a llamar la atención. Which I think in the end, ¿verdad? Es un poco, a veces abrumante para los pobres niños, ¿verdad? Con tanta materia, etc. Entonces, it, it has changed a, a bit. Ok, dice Ivana, ajá, lo mismo que acabo de decir, dice, the education changed a lot today, there are other subjects. Claro que sí. There are many other subjects, muchas otras materias, ¿verdad? Y, y, and, and also the schedules. In the past, students eh, finished the school at noon. Ah, at noon, everybody was happy because we were going back home. We were going to have lunch at home. Era la hora de almuerzo y todos bien contentos en encender televisión y ver caricaturas, right? And then to do the homework. So now it's different. Los pobres niños casi que jornada laboral tienen, ¿verdad? They begin at 7 and they finish at 2.30 or 3 p.m. Dice Flor, eh, education was more difficult for many children because they couldn't go to school because of the money, ¿verdad? It was difficult to get uniforms, computers, shoes, but now all children have opportunity to get them for free. Yes, it's true. ¿Verdad? Han cambiado mucho en ese sentido. Rebeca María dice, so there were different differences in norms and rules that everyone used in education now. It is a psychological problem that they live a uh, with bad grades, so they are not pressured. Yes, it's different. In, in, in English, decimos, they have the opportunity to make up, eh, to make up exams. Es tener la oportunidad de, eh, rep, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, repetir exámenes, make up, make up exams. Make up exams son de re, reposición, de repetición, o algo que usted hace para obtener una mejor nota de la que obtuvo anteriormente, ¿verdad? Eh, como una segunda oportunidad. In the past, no. En el pasado no había tal cosa. ¿Verdad? Era, pues, se sacó tanto, tanto se sacó. No había de, de otra. No había ni, ni, ni A, ni B, ni C. But nowadays it's different. Hoy es diferente. What about entertainment, guys? What do you think about entertainment? Entertainment. Oh, my goodness. Aquí hay una colección de insectos ahorita, chicos. Risa le daría si les mando la foto, pero me da pena porque está, pero full. <laughs> okay, entertainment, guys. What do you think about entertainment? Dígame, Julio César. 50 years ago, uh, many few uh, people had TV. A TV. Mm -hmm. Had uh, or didn't have? Perdón. So, sorry? Did you say had or didn't have? I didn't have, mm -hmm. didn't have a uh, TV. It and is true. Nowadays, uh, almost everybody has a, a, a TV, more than a TV. Mm -hmm. It is true, right? Lots of people right now have a TV. I mean, it's como parte de la, antes decían, ah, pero con que tenga uno una mesita y donde dormir y donde comer, that's enough. Pues hoy una de las cosas básicas, pues, es la tele, right? You need a TV. Ajá, entonces, eh, priorities have changed, right? And, and everybody have access to television nowadays. That's true, Julio Cesar. And in the past, there were very few. Habían poquitas. Not everybody had a TV. And, and my father, you know, tells me stories about, eh, about him. Eh, he would go to his neighbor's house and to ask for permission to watch TV there, right? Uh -huh. Because not everybody had a TV. That's true. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Dice por acá en el chat. Eh, dice Richard, María, dígame. En, en, en family had a 
black and white TVs. Yes. And, and some of them use, uh, I don't know how, uh, how uh, do you say that, that kind of paper? Eh, el papel con que arreglan las canastas navideñas. Celofán. Celofán. Uh -huh. and, and they use uh, celofán paper and put to the uh, to the screen to to uh, to say ah we're watching TV uh, a color TV. In color, that's true, it's true. I remember, y también me acuerdo que nosotros los niños éramos los controles remotos, right? Exactly. <laughs> we were the remote controls, uh -huh. My first TV, I remember my first TV, uh, my father got a TV, it was black and white. And and he was, and he, I remember him when he said, hey, vaya, este, cambiamos el televisor, ponemos el tal, en la bugala, todos los canales me los pasaba y decía, en la mano te va a quedar esa pelilla. Entonces, I was the remote control in my house. And it was, it was, it was kind of um, loud. Era bien alto el, el sonido del, de la perilla, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, we were remote controls and we watched TV in black and white. And that's totally true. Hi, Daniel. Hi, teacher and everyone. I remember when I was a child in the case of TV, uh, the, ch the children wa uh, were the control. Yeah, the remote control, yeah. And, and when the the night and the high hours of night, the volume is high. And I remember my grandfather saying me, hey, Daniel, go down the, the volume. Turn down, turn down. Turn, turn down the volume. <laughs> And I can and I get up to my sofa or the, my furniture. I'm, uh -huh. I don't know what it's like. The couch. And, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember that's funny. Yeah, it's true. In the past, uh, people were very conscientious about noise. And they would say, no, es que estamos molestando al vecino. ¿verdad? Entonces, don't do it. Okay, turn it down. Because si usted lo puede oír, no necesita que lo demás lo escuche. Decía mi papá. And, 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 it, and it was true. Nowadays, es más como, es mi casa, es mi espacio. Y pues yo hago lo que quiero en mi espacio. Entonces, things have changed. Las cosas han cambiado también. Bye. Aquí dice, ya voy, Carlita, y ya voy, María Dolores. Solo quiero leer acá un comentario. Dice, como que es podcast ahorita, vean. It has changed so much. Dice, Now, nowadays there are more entertainment for example es cierto it's, uh, tenemos TV, cable, internet, video games etc. That is true. In the past we used to have as a form of entertainment the radio and the television y pues no sé ustedes pero yo sí usé un Walkman usé un Walkman and you would insert the cassette And you would listen to the sounds. I remember my first cassette, al menos el que me compraron así ya de adolescente fue uno de los Backstreet Boys, me acuerdo. I remember listening to the Backstreet Boys cassette in the Walkman. And then the, then we had the Discman, right? It, it was for CDs. And nowadays, as Francisco says, we have Netflix, we have streaming platforms, but we have cable TV, we have internet, we have video games, we have a, a lot of applications, apps, un montón de apps que para música, que para video, que para esto, que para, I mean, we have lots of, you know, options for entertainment. Eh, dígame, Carla. Um, 50 years ago, my children, Played with cars and dolls. Currently, they use cell phones, but need supervision of an adult. And in 50 years, they will learn technology faster. Mm -hmm. It is true. As you said before, Carla, in the past, uh, kids would uh, pay attention to toys. Right, like as you said, toll, I mean, cars, souls, etc. Whichever you know <clears throat> the toy was. Antes, pues, uno hasta con las latas jugaban. Pero nowadays, uh, the, the the cell phone, you know, it's like the main entertainment option for kids. I totally agree with you. And in the in the future, yes. Eh, we don't know if we are going to be able to control that or not. Va a ser un poco más difícil. Dice Flor Noemi. Uh, entertainment was more educational than now. Uh -huh, eso es cierto. Uh, will depend uh, 
of every person to see in the TV or social media, but I remember before all channels that I used to see, Seria, um, were just music, cartoons, etc. Now all have changed. If we turn on the TV or phone, just uh, <laughs> we can see TikToks, this or no educational programs. That's my humble opinion, this for Noemi. Yes, the entertainment uh, purposes have changed. Right. And as you said before, in the past, it was more like, ¿Qué puede aprender la gente de esto? So let's go ahead and broadcast this show. But let's broadcast it because we are going to uh, broadcast. Broadcast is, is uh, poner al aire, ¿verdad? We're going to broadcast uh, these TV shows for kids, etc., because they have an, a, a message. They have a good message, right? And pues now things are different. Eh, dígame, María Dolores. Sure. Um, and there were more games in the children and in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's totally true. Guys, you remember going out in the afternoon to play with your neighbors? Wow, that was the best thing. I remember, um, I mean, imagination was your tool. I mean, uh, you were able to, uh, meaning, on the street, when I was a girl, when I was a little girl, I learned about teamwork. You will, you will learn about teamwork. Se aprendí hasta trabajo en equipo, right? So you will learn teamwork. You will learn to be a leader. You will learn to be, you know, an assistant, etc. I mean, uh, there were so many things that you could do. Nowadays, because, you know, uh, uh, of the situation, right, etc. So many things going on. Uh, we parents, we prefer not to let our our children, you know, go out and play because we need to have control since prácticamente lo que ha pasado que se ha salido todo de control. So we need to have that control. In the past, it was different. Era bien diferente. But nowadays, we have other advantages and disadvantages. Creo que la ventaja y la ventaja van cambiando. ¿Verdad? Cosas que son para bien, pero que si se usan en exceso, pues todo lo que es en exceso es malo, ¿verdad? Etcétera. Creo que ahí es por donde va la cosa. Eh, luego acá tengo, eh, dice, I love Pastor Boy, dice Rebeca. Sí, yo también. Before, only three TV channels, now more than 200, dice Liu. Yes. In the past, we have a very few options for, for uh, TV. Nowadays, we have a lot. I mean, you can pick. Es como eh, increíble la cantidad. Dice Geraldi, Gisela, perdón. In the past, the entertainment was the radio. Nowadays, the entertainment is the cell phone, dice. It's true. Because in your cell phone, everything is just one click away. It's just one click away. Solo, uh, you know, quiero esto, click. And then you switch to video or no, click. And you switch to uh, podcast or you switch to music, etc. This uh, Eva, I saw a television inside and I saw big bolts on and other incredible things, this Ivan. Oh, really? This is Carla. Years ago, <clears throat> there were no streaming platforms such as Amazon, Netflix, etc. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 40 years ago, this is Ivan. Okay. Then, Francisco, what can you share about this topic? Thank you, teacher. And, and, and... In the topic, uh, the video games in the past, uh, it was great to play Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Super Mario, uh, Mr. Fighter, Mortal Kombat, the very popular games. Mm -hmm. But uh, but right now, uh, there is is PlayStation 5, I guess, mm -hmm. the more advanced. It's true. And also there are there is kind of nostalgia. Right, hay como una nostalgia en los en los en los que en los en los gamers, verdad, los que comenzaron right. con esos juegos. There is a nostalgia, and incluso hay hay lugares donde usted puede conseguir los juegos esos, verdad, de nos de, de hace mucho y pues adaptados ya pues al equipo que uno puede utilizar hoy en día. And it's it's kind of cool. Uh, my husband was telling me, right, he has a picture of himself. He was well, he's right now thirty seven. And he has a picture. I think on that picture he is six or seven years old. And he's sitting down in front of a computer playing one of those games, right? And nowadays he looks for those, you know, um, nostalgic games to play them again in the computer. So it's 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 understandable with the uh, with this topic, the entertainment one. Dígame, Hector Iván, y luego pasamos a housing. 
Uh, teacher, I remember uh, 20 years ago, uh, my entertainments were played with my cousin and my friends in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. The cucha, trompos, trapo de ayuda, <laughs> ladrón de urado. And, and I, I invent a new plate. For example, when I was, when I watched a new movie in, uh, in the TV, mm -hmm. I invent a new play. A new game. A new game, yeah. It's true, right? As I was saying before, imagination was like your main tool. It's true. Now, what about housing? Uh, Ivan, housing, what happens with housing nowadays? Oh, teacher, just uh -huh. I want to show you this. Ah, okay. Ah. Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and from, I mean, what year? Wow. Like, uh, que aún 40 años o 30 por ahí así anda este. Oh, really? Wow, but yeah. that's a treasure. Yo lo tengo. That's a treasure. Es una, una a console? Is a console? Yes. Yes, yes, wow, yes. you know what, guys? Les seré honesta. Eh, I remember listening to the, I mean, listening to kids eh, that they were, you know, playing video games. But I, I mean, it, it never, you know, uh, called my attention. Nunca me llamó la atención. Yo solo lo veía que se peleaban, disfrutaban, hablaban al respecto. But I never felt like playing video games. Pero sí, Iván, ese sí se ve que es una, una, un tesorito ahí que tiene. You could sell it later. Bueno. Sí, I am collect. Bueno, uh -huh. You collect them. Ah, okay. Great. Excellent. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, We yes, never yes. know. Uh, Rebecca, what about you? Thank you, Ivan. Uh, about the houses. Mm -hmm. uh, the houses were bigger than... Than today's. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Today is, is very small. The, yes, it's true, right? The space. When it comes to housing... Uh, well, first of all, that in the past, guys, it, you know, uh, families used to be bigger because as you, as you have observed nowadays, parents prefer to have only one or two children, two maximum. In my case, we have only one daughter. She's, as I was sharing with you before, she turned 15. But uh, in the past, houses were bigger. But I guess because the idea was to have a big family and there were like four bedrooms or five bedrooms, like two bathrooms, a garage for two cars, etc. So they were thought for big families. And nowadays the houses are very small, right? Son super pequeñas and they include two bedrooms, a very small house and kitchen. Eh, ¿Qué le llaman? ¿Cómo es que le llaman hoy en día? Un, este... Eh, ay, no sé cómo es que le llaman un solo espacio okay, that you have the same the same space for the kitchen and the living room and but, hmm? teacher but before the quality of life was more economical yeah definitely well, well, yeah mm -hmm. I mean the, 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 the quality of life and the quality of the materials used to build the house right they were completely different that's true Dice acá, Ibrahim, could you invite me to play some games? Dice Daniel Alejandro. Ok, ahí le hablan, Iván, Ibrahim. Then, ahí en el chat. <laughs> Then, it's true. I mean, the materials, right? The materials are, uh, are different, ¿verdad? And, and also the, the, the prices are completely different. But nowadays, houses are even more expensive, right? What about medicine, guys? Medicine. Y con eso finalizo, Carla. Um, three years ago, uh, they created the coronavirus vaccine. The vaccine, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true, right? So in medicine, uh, things have changed also because now it is it is easier and faster right, to look for solution for certain, you know, um, uh, 
illnesses and diseases, right? It's not, it's not, it's not like in the past that they would take years in searching and investigation and the creation of the, of the cure of something, right? That's true. Dígame, Xiomara. And well, I think in the past, uh, uh, people used to uh, take like a medicine, natural, mm -hmm. natural medicine. Uh, sure. Now, nowadays, that we have uh, advanced medicine for sickness, some sickness. Mm -hmm. But before, our grandpas, our fathers, our parents uh, used natural uh, from plants. I don't know, whatever, but uh, no medicine. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is so true, Xiomara. I totally agree with you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, natural uh, remedies, right, they have become uh, rare. Porque también mucho, pues, que, que la generación está cambiando, ¿verdad? And, and then we have very few people that know about those remedies. And it's it's that's the reason why it is important to past those recipes or those remedies from one generation to the other one so we can continue right and also there are some you know medicine nowadays that they cure you but they also make you sick right so es una doble cosa ahí dígame maria dolores teacher um, the medicine no is still se puso mute Discovery, discover, uh, I know it's discovery in the trade. What do you say? Tratamiento? Treatment. Or in, ca in case in today, uh, there were or not today's dices que no hay. No ha Fíjese, María Dolores, que se le pone en mute el micrófono. Solo le escucho palabritas. No estará presionando sin querer. Ahí está en mute. Perdón. Uh -huh. uh, the medicine is still uh, no, no have uh, discoveries. They in... don't have. They haven't discovered. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, in the case, uh, there were no today diseases. O sea, no habían enfermedades como las que existen hoy. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. Also the research, but the investigation and research eh, are very helpful because now we are able to identify. In the past, decían, es que se, 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 se fue, ¿verdad? Lamentablemente se nos fue. ¿Y por qué fue? Ay, que no sabemos. De la nada le pasó esto y ya, ya, no, ya no supimos. And it's because of that. Es por eso, porque no sabíamos o no conocíamos de ciertas este, condiciones, enfermedades, etc. That's totally right. It's true. Eh, dígame, Francisco. The same teacher uh, in the past, it, it was very difficult to get medicine, but uh, right now is it more, it's easier, it's, it's mm -hmm. faster. Uh, and there are uh, for the different diseases. Mm -hmm. It's true. As you said before, exactly. It was very difficult and very expensive. And y muy probablemente pues había algo que nosotros decimos como, mire, no sé qué tiene, pero tome esto. <laughs> and now it's more personalized. It's more personalized <laughs> to how you go and you... A ver si you... le resulta. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Y ahora es como más personalizado. It's more personalized and you can get, uh, you know, better results, right, if you if you follow the treatments. Mm -hmm, that's true. So, uh, alternative medicine. Ah, yeah. Alternative medicine has become popular too. It's true. Eh, casi nadie habla de eso, pero sí. De, de, there are several, you know, obviously tiene que ser pues de buena reputación, ¿verdad? Porque muchos pueden decir sí, ¿verdad? Nosotros tenemos alternative medicine, but mm, we have to make sure that it's, it's a, 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 a good place. Dice Francisco Antonio en el chat, dice the housing has changed a lot. In the past, there were not many materials and the designs of the houses were the same. Sí, es cierto. Now there is more diversity, but the prices are, are through, the, uh -huh. it's, they are up to the roof. It's true. Mm -hmm. Están súper, súper caros. Now, guys, sí, sure. dígame. Uh, in, about uh, the medicine, mm -hmm. uh, Right now, the consultations, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it can be uh, online with the doctor. Yeah, it's true. For example, uh -huh. in the East. 
It's true. Uh, right. You can schedule it. You can schedule your your appointment. Susita, you can schedule your appointment, and right. and they and they can uh, assist you through the uh, through an online session. Dice Gisela, in the past, grandmothers were the doctors. Were our doctors? He said it's true. No, sabe, las abuelitas sabían, pero ahí funcionaban las medicinas, los remedios, right? They work. Eficaces, uh, inmediatas. It, yes, it was, it was, era el ingrediente secreto, ¿verdad? It was love, the this, this secret ingredient, okay? Well, guys, thank you very much for sharing a little bit about it with me. Obviously, there were more topics, but uh, because of the time, I would like to move to the next part, okay, which is uh, related to the next grammar topic, okay? So, con eso, pues, cierro la parte eh, del tema anterior, ¿verdad? Great talk. Thank you. Thank you for your comments in the chat. Thank you for your participation. And now we're moving to the conversation, okay? This conversation is called Back to the Future, back to the future. So uh, in here, right, we are going to take a look at some, uh, well, a different structure, okay? And and here, well, quizás le voy a poner a listening primero, permítanme. Give me one moment. Perdón que me ven haciéndole así, pero es que me estoy peleando con todos los insectos que andan por aquí. Hay que hacer tacos con esos animalitos. Ay, no, cabal, it's true. It's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of protein. A lot of protein. Mm, crunchy. Como los, papos, como los son papos de mayo. I know, my goodness. Yo tengo un amigo que come tacos de eso. I know. Where? Where is that? Here in El Salvador? Here, here in El Salvador. Perú, my Pia. goodness, really. Oh, no. So a lot of protein. Mm, delicious, crunchy. Okay. No, thank you. Yeah, there are uh, other, I mean, <clears throat> there are places in the world that eat, you know, those type of uh, insects, right? But no, no thank you. Entonces prefiero comer como vegetariana. Ay, no, chicos, no me carga aquí la, bueno, leámoslo así porque no carga la, la, la plataforma. Dice, listen and practice. We have a conversation between Jody and Luis, or Luis, ¿verdad? Dice, ugh, I feel awful. I really have to stop smoking. So why don't you quit? Well, if I quit, I might uh, gain weight. A lot of people do, but, and if I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into any of my clothes. Well, you can always go on a diet. Oh no, I'm terrible at losing weight on diets. So if my clothes don't fit, I, I'll have to buy new ones. I'll have to get a part-time job and listen. It is hard to quit, but it's not that hard. Do you want to know how I did it? Typical, right? Es mejor dar una excusa que, que tomar acción, ¿verdad? So let's take a look at the, at, the, at, the, at the structure. Hey, Daniel, I like your background. It's a, it's a, it's a TV. It reminds me, me recuerda a, los, a las perillas de las que les estaba hablando de los teles. Sí, por eso lo puse. Uh -huh, it's true, it's true. I like it. Cool. Okay, so I was saying here. Now, let's take a look at some of the structures. Okay, we have... Um, let me see. Ah, if I quit, I might gain weight. I know, but it's the color. No. By if I quit, I might gain weight. So, son de las que vimos anteriormente. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit in a, into any of my clothes. Eh, ¿Cuál es la otra? Permítame. If I, aquí está, so, if my clothes don't fit, I have to buy new ones. And I'll have to get a part-time job and blah, blah, blah. The person continues, right? So, as you can see, we are talking about uh, conditionals. We're talking about um, conditions and results. Condiciones y resultados, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo digo, if I quit, I might gain weight. Si yo lo dejo, pueda que gane peso, dice la chica, ¿verdad? Ay, no, estos insectos me tienen, pero hasta la coronilla, como diría mi abuelita. 
Okay, and then it says if I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into my clothes. Si gano peso, entonces ya no me va a quedar la ropa. <clears throat> and if my clothes don't fit, si mi ropa no me queda, I'll have to buy new ones, tendré que comprar otras. Entonces, vamos ahí con la condición, el resultado, condición, el resultado. <clears throat> so, pareciera que la chica quiere dejar de formar, pero en realidad no quiere. Está poniendo excusas, ¿verdad? De mi sí, sí, ya cargó. Sí, aquí está, permito. Intermedio. Eh, right now we are in section four. Estamos en la sección cuatro. Solamente, chicos, eh, yo sé que ya les dije al principio, pero nada más recordarles, por favor, que no se les olvide eh, completar ¿verdad? la sección. La sección porque es importante. Mañana les van a calificar, así que hágalo, please. Voy a borrar todos mis dibujos. Ahí está. Bye. Let's uh, watch the video. Déjeme. Ay, no está. Esto. Lo voy a compartir su mío. Bye, vamos. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, guys, I'm going to share with you um, uh, through the WhatsApp, the information about this one. Okay. Oops, pero, uh, intermedio. So I shared through the WhatsApp uh, two pictures, okay, for you to remember that. The if clause, ¿verdad? La parte de la if clause can be used in two different ways. Puede ser usada de dos formas. Podemos intercambiar el orden de las dos cláusulas, ¿verdad? ¿Pero qué es una cláusula, Marce? A clause, ¿verdad? Una cláusula es una oración o, una, o un conjunto de palabras, digámoslo así. It's a group of words that have a subject and a verb, que tienen sujeto y un verbo. Eso es, un, es, un, es, un, eh, es una cláusula o clause, right? And then it says, oh, dígame, Carla. In this part, can we write the answer? Because these don't have a percentage. Percentage? Aquí? No, in the audio. In the audio. Eh, perdón, Carla, no, no te comprendo la pregunta. El que acaba de poner. Ajá. Que al final menciona que escribamos. Ah, uh, ajá. esa parte no oh, se no. hace o no es independiente. 
Sí, no, 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 esa parte es nada más como una participación adicional, pero no, no tiene, como usted lo acaba de decir, no tiene ningún peso el porcentaje, ¿verdad? No, no representa parte de su nota, es correcto, ajá. Entonces solo le voy a poner esta, esta estructura. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional Don't forget to write them in English. If you lose, forget to write your consequence. Esta la voy a compartir porque creo que difiere un poquito con la otra. Entonces, estos son los ejemplos, ¿verdad? These are the examples. Get bored. Bye. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Ahí está. Vaya, look at here. I have the information here. Esa es la que está acá en el, en el manual de ustedes. Yo les compartí el que está en la plataforma. Entonces, here we have the conditional sentences with if clauses, right? Conditional sentences can describe situations and consequences that are possible in the present or future. So, conditional sentences can describe uh, these consequences, guys, but uh, if you see, we are talking about present, porque... Hay pues varios condicionales, está el cero, el primero, el segundo, el tercer condicional y la mezcla de algunos de ellos. Entonces, for this one, we are using present simple and future models. Vamos a usar presente simple y vamos a usar futuro con will o con los models, may or might, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, lo que dice la conversación, if I quit smoking, I mind gay Wayne, porque dice, dicen que así es, no sé, ¿verdad? Pero ahí dice en la conversación que si deja de fumar, va a ganar más peso, o va a ganar peso. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit in my clothes. Be able is can, pero en futuro, ¿verdad? If my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. Vea, si no me quedan, tengo que comprar nuevas. If you get a part-time job, you may be able to save some money. And then you continue. So here, guys, we're talking about two things. We're talking about situations and consequences. Okay, that's the way we're going to use it. ¿Y cuáles son las estructuras, Marce? Vaya. En la if close, en la if close, vamos a tener, dice web can use perhaps. En, pero perhaps es tal vez y es un adverbio. Los que, está, los que tenemos acá, Rebeca, son verbos modales. O sea, aquí sí necesito verbos o auxiliares. Perhaps es un adverbio. Tal vez, ¿verdad? No lo podría usar. Ajá. Eh, if I quit smoking, I might gain weight. Entonces, estoy usando might. Estoy usando un verbo modal que expresa una posibilidad en el futuro. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit. Won't be able, guys, es el mismo can, pero en futuro. <risa> No voy a poder, dice, no voy a poder entrar en la ropa o no me va a quedar, ¿verdad? We able, won't be able to es lo mismo que can, pero en futuro. Luego, if my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy. I'll have. Ahí tenemos futuro simple en negativo con won't be able to fit y futuro simple con I'll have to buy. Y luego, if you get a part-time job, you might be able to save. Pueda que guarde dinero, ¿verdad? Lo mismo, may be able es el mismo can expresa probabilidad. Ajá, dice Francisco, if I learn English, I will have better job opportunities. Correcto, exacto, Francisco, así es. Esa es la condición o esa es la situación y esa sería la, la consecuencia, en este caso positiva, pues, de la situación, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok, entonces, no sé si eh, hay preguntas al respecto en este momento. Questions about it? Por supuesto, para este hay que practicar, ¿verdad? Hay que eh, hacer ejercicios, ¿verdad? Para que lo podamos comprender mejor. Uh -huh. ¿Preguntas, chicos? No questions. Bye. Don't worry. Let's go ahead and work in the following exercise. It says, match the clauses in column 8 with the appropriate information from column B. Tómese dos minutitos para leerlas y luego las vamos a, a, a conectar. Solo le voy a poner el timer, permítame. Eh, dos minutos, dos minutos, seis. Aquí están dos minutos. Five, two minutes. And your two minutes begin right now.
Ready, teacher. Excellent. What about the rest? Todavía no? Yes, I'm ready. Bye. Ready, teacher. Ok, ahí está corriendo siempre el tiempo, pero ahí lo vamos a dejar que termine de el, 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 el timer. Vamos a conectar entonces las oraciones. Veamos. Ocupemos los diferentes colores. Comenzamos con red. So, guys, number one. Volunteer for number one, pero tiene que leer toda la oración, ¿verdad? Number one. Julio César. If you eat less sugar... Uh -huh. um, you might feel healthier. You might feel healthier. Oh, you see, definitivamente. This one is so true. If you eat less sugar, you might feel healthier. Okay. Uh, Xiomara, please, number two. If you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Exactly. You'll, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Yes. Walking, it's a great exercise. And also it helps you, you know, to ease your mind, to release the stress, etc. Hector. If you don't get enough sleep, mm -hmm. you won't be able to stay away in class. Correct, so true. Por eso si estamos así, se nos cierran los ojitos ahorita. Eh? Porque muy temprano nos levantamos. Luego, number four. If you own a pet, eh, ¿quién sigue? Who's next? Eh, Carla, diga. You may feel more relaxed. Oh, if you want a pet, you, uh, you may feel more relaxed. Yes, it's true. Uh, pets help you to release stress, ¿verdad? Son bien especiales en ese sentido, a tal punto que hay unos que son de apoyo, ¿verdad? Una es mascota de apoyo. Eh, veamos la última. Eh, Number five, number five. If you don't get married, you'll have more money to spend on yourself. <laughs> on yourself, definitely. Okay, that is so true, right? So if you don't get married, right, you'll have more money to spend on yourself. That's the reason why lots of, you know, uh, people decide to get married later, right? So they prefer like to have some time for themselves for enjoying uh, uh, their, you know, salary, their income, etc. And then once they feel ready, they get married. That's true. So thank you very much, guys. Don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to continue with a review and with more exercises. Se le voy a dejar una tarea. Yo sé que yo no les dejo así porque I know that you're busy. Yo sé que están ocupados y pues suficiente con la plataforma. Pero eh, tomorrow, guys, prepared. Un set, prepare un set de oraciones como las que usted ve en pantalla, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles serían situaciones que usted podría este, mencionar y cuáles serían esas consecuencias? Por ejemplo, estas pues están relacionadas con salud, ¿verdad? O con eh, sentirse bien, con hacer ejercicio, etc. ¿Verdad? Entonces, tomorrow bring some examples. Traiga algunos ejercicios mañana para que los podamos revisar juntos, ¿de acuerdo? Así que me voy a quedar acá porque ya tengo que ir terminando, así que voy a pasar lista de, a los que no me, no me contestaron en la primera toma de asistencia. Ada Agar Purcos Magaña. Present. Thank you, Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Brenda Isabel, no vino. Claudia Lisset Velázquez de Salgado. Gracias, Claudia. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Thank you. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Escobar. No, perdón, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Francisco Ernesto. Eh, Gabriel José Hernández López. Gabriel. Present teacher. Gracias, Gabriel. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. Gracias. Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias. Y por último, Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. No vino. Ah, vaya, ya le andaba poniendo que no vino. <laughs> vaya, Sorry, chicos. Don't, don't worry, it's okay. 
thank you for letting me know. Bye, chicos. You. You're welcome. So, guys, thank you very much for joining. Okay, I wish you a good night and let's meet tomorrow. Okay, bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.